Why, hello there. Cinco de Mayo is a very popular holiday in America, which is weird since this holiday does not celebrate well America. Just like St. Patrick's Day and Mardi Gras. And you, you know what? There's just a lot of things. Anyways, this holiday celebrates the time when in 1861 a huge French army controlled by Napoleon III landed in Mexico and tried to take it over. The French army was very well supplied and thought taking over Mexico would be easy since they just had a reform war. Which, because of that, they owed a lot of foreign powers money. Mexico was able to talk England and Spain out of keeping their armies around, but the French didn't want to hear it. They thought having some French influence would be great in the Americas and Mexico was the place to start. Unfortunately for Napoleon, there was a little city called Puebla and they weren't having it. Even though they were outnumbered and the French was better equipped, they still decided to fight the French. Much to the surprise of the French, the Mexican army on May 5th, 1862 beat the French and sent them running. This saved Mexico from being ruled by France. For like a year. The French did come back and ruled Mexico for a short three year period. Which could have been a lot longer if the victory at Puebla never happened. Today, Mexico celebrates Cinco de Mayo by closing their schools for the day. Not great, but for the state of Puebla, it is celebrated with historical reenactments, parades, and huge meals. In America, it was mostly celebrated in California for a very long time by Mexican immigrants who heard of the victory and decided to cheer it on each year. Around the 1980s, marketers for the beers and wine companies saw the holiday to exploit, and they did so. Because of this, everyone in the United States celebrates Cinco de Mayo as a day to get drunk, or to pretend you have Mexican heritage because you can speak a bit of Spanish. Or maybe some other dumb reason they can think of. This of course has irked those with actual Mexican heritage and have asked that their holiday be looked at seriously with education about the historical significance of said holiday. Some places have started to teach a bit about the battle's importance, but as we saw with St. Patrick's Day, it has mostly been ignored. So, you can either learn about how stopping the French army from taking over Mexico over a year was a good thing, or you can drink some tequila and some Mexican beer and wear some culturally insensitive outfit. Look, you're all mostly stuck inside anyways, might as well learn something. You got Kindles and the internet.